Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Archer tutorial. This time I'm going to create something special for the Halloween. I know that many of you out there are celebrating the Halloween. Well, I'm not celebrating the Halloween, but uh, it happens to be that because I'm playing a lot Team Fortress 2 every year, uh, I'm waiting for that uh, particular uh, you know, time just to play Team Fortress 2 with the new Halloween maps and of course costumes and ev everything else so I don't know at least this is how I celebrate the Halloween uh, it's not part of my own religion we are not celebrating Halloween here but um, that's cool I think it's a nice uh, way to celebrate and uh, I can say that in some part of my you know my inner part I feel jealous about that that we we are not celebrating the Halloween though we do have Purim so Purim is also sort of a costume uh, holiday but it's not spooky as the Halloween which has a lot more character to it so anyway uh, this is what we're gonna model we're gonna model pumpkins well basically one pumpkin from it we will uh, form sort of you know that look and I'm gonna render this out for you it will take about two minutes to render this it's 540 pixels so uh, yeah you will be able to see exactly what you're gonna get and hopefully if this will suit your needs or just for fun you want to make something like that uh, I will teach you how to do this okay let's let it go let it do a thing it's rendering my machine is just a wreck. Um, I mean, it's like it's the Devil Canyon, the four quads, uh, i5, 400, uh, well, 46, 4960 or 49, yeah, 4690. I don't know, K, and still slow. <laughs> I don't feel it's fast. I think I mean, if I were gonna do this in um, you know, 1080, uh, no, nine, yeah, 1080 pixels, it will take time, it will take ton of time, so, but, yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna get. Now, I do want to mention that uh, I had some tests on it, and I really... I uh, need to tweak things here a little bit more about um, a shader here that I used. Uh, I used procedural sh sh shaders um, and uh, I don't want to use texture for it because I don't feel like it's much needed. Though, uh, at the overall, uh, I think it looks fine. It's enough uh, to bring something out of it and this is what we're going to do. So. With that said, and with this picture, I'm going to close this. I don't know why I re-render re it. I'm going to stop it with escape. Escape, 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 escape. We are escaping. We are escaping. The escape sometimes is not reacting. Anyway, file, new scene. And just so you will know, it's not hard to get the pumpkin. Uh, but it deserves a little bit work on the facial expression and to the light and the entire scene. So, let's begin. I'm going to create a polygon sphere here. Click on that, and by default it will come with 20 subdivision axes and height. You want to keep it that way if you want to have so many strips as like high head on my own uh, model. Also, it will help you to form a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more facial expression with that um, what I mean is more detail anyway um, we're gonna go and check this you see this ring here this circle here so from the second one you want to cl click on that one and double click on that one and the second one here so this is the second circle we're gonna take three steps off of those and grab this one and double click on that one and we're gonna continue this um, until we well okay what I've done here is a mistake I don't want to check this after I 
done this mistake, I'm gonna recheck, reselect this and double click on that. Okay, grab this, double click on that. <coughs> that, and double click on that. And I'm gonna extrude it. I'm gonna pull the blue arrow here. Make sure it's one division set, okay? And I think this thickness is okay. I'm gonna tap on one of those cubes, grab the middle one and squeeze it just a little bit. Okay, not too much, just a little bit. So from here, <coughs> switch to selection tool, grab the one next to that one from the right, doesn't matter which one, but this one next to from the right side, and we're gonna do the same to each one of those. Now, essentially I'm not using the keep faces together on and off thingy, because we want strips, not cubes, to have. And if we were going to use the keep faces together here, it will form cubes, not, uh, well, not the strips. So, extruding this, and do the same procedure, and then continue on to the next strip. this strip and that strip all right let's extrude pull this like so you want to make sure it's almost the same thickness as the other okay the others and then continue to the ne last one last strip of each section Oh, this one, sorry. Oops. 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 Nope. Okay. Whenever you do a mistake, you need to re-select those from the beginning. I mean, if it didn't select it. Okay. And then extrude and do it like so. Now, you can press three and see how many strips you will have, okay? With that done, um, I will say this. I'm using my 2016. I'm always announcing which version I'm using only because menus are a little bit different uh, on, you know, each version. So, not all of them, but especially with Maya 2016, that everything has been modified a little bit differently than earlier versions. So, what you want to do, you want to check for the deform menu, okay? Now, I'm not looking for the deform menu because I'm not sure if there is deform menu. I know that it should be there, as I recall, but um, I'm looking for the lattice option. So, I'm using the modeling menu. And from the modeling menu, I have the deform menu, which there I will find the lattice. This is 20, my 2016. On earlier versions, I don't know where it is because I can't remember. Therefore, it's your uh, responsibility to find it. You want to click on lattice options and type in here. You can reset this and type in here 3, 3, 3. While this is selected, click apply click close and you will see this cage uh, on top of our uh, pumpkin so you want to grab the pumpkin and press 3 and then you want to select the borders or those edges of the lattice and right click choose lattice okay we smoothed preview this because we're gonna modify the pumpkin using the lattice so the lattice right now will show us really exactly how the pumpkin will look like whenever we smooth preview this and this is what's really crucial here so you will be able to tell if that um, you know how how much you modified the shape with the lattice so I'm pushing the the inner points the middle points inside a little bit to form this shape from here it's up to you what to do with it uh, you can grab like all those that left above. You see this one is not selected and you can choose to open this up 
bring it down I don't know whatever you feel like I prefer to keep it that way maybe to grab these and move them a little bit just a little bit not too much and stretch it give it some stretches to see to, to really just make it a little bit more organic in the way that it growed so some parts can be a little bit higher here maybe some parts will be lower and you got the idea right whenever you feel that you finished with this you're gonna press F8 to bring it back to object mode I mean the cage of the lattice tool so the lattice tool is working just like NURBS um, EP curves and stuff like that and in order to make sure that your your pumpkin will stay at that state you need to go over pick the pumpkin and choose edit delete by type history this will also get rid of the, the lattice cage and your shape will remain permanently like so so if you're gonna go and delete the cage without doing this your pumpkin will brought back to the first state where it haven't modified to this state okay now we're gonna start and build our uh, face expression here <coughs> I'm gonna press 1 to exit smooth preview I'm gonna right click choose face I'm gonna check this face and I can check that face but I'm gonna tell you just that once that I done this I selected this face and double click on that face sorry this face and double click on that so I remove these two and then I remove these two and I make the expression a little bit more wide so that way I removed two faces for the eyes and then I created the mouth from five of them okay so you can press delete and delete it uh, whatever you seen in the beginning at the beginning of this tutorial whenever I show you what I've done already I used only one face here one face here and five across okay so basically it's the same borders <coughs> okay so from here what you want to do is you want to right click choose edge you want to grab this edge this is like where the nose should be but there is no nose here so you're gonna grab this edge control right click edge ring until this through edge ring and split we're splitting this here but it doesn't split here so we need to split it here just the same as up there I'm gonna grab this edge press G so each section like this you want to divide it by three so we done one and now no by four basically so you want to grab this edge press G this edge press G and you want to do the same over here and that thing goes to each one of those sections so one two three and we have a problem here so I'm gonna undo that okay the problem I will show you what's the problem the problem is that we need to create here take this shift right click chamfer it right click choose face to make it like so I'm gonna press 3 just to see how deep is it is and I'm gonna bring it a little bit up like so maybe a little bit more open like that well not too much press 3 that's fine I'm gonna do the same thing here so by creating this chamfering I'm eliminating the option of the new edges that's going to cross those to really turn over back to other faces uh, if you were if you're gonna rewind what I just done there you will see that instead of having only edges on those face that I uh, deal with uh, some edges has been added here okay so now this won't happen you can grab this one control right click edge ring until this edge ring and split and go on and continue this same process but I did undo everything that I done just to fix this by the way okay so I'm gonna do this here, 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 and so on.
almost done okay so we have all of them all the five sections have been divided equally and now I'm gonna grab well I'm gonna grab vertices now this is the very hard part because you need to be very careful on what you're doing um, I want to grab these here okay these five vertices here okay and switch to move tool and lift them up here but you see they are entering inside so I'm gonna bring them back outside like so and I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna grab this switch to selection tool well grab all those that you need switch to move tool you see the move tool is there that means that I selected accidentally something there they sh the move tool should be here next to them and I'm gonna lift this up here take a look from the outside and maybe bring it back a little bit like so and like that okay so this is also too much outside don't do this okay <laughs> uh, yeah okay maybe just a little bit like there and like there but make sure it's fine now we'll simply take vertices here we're gonna pick vert vertices let's say I'm gonna pick these two switch to move tool bring them like so I'm gonna take these two and lift them up I'm gonna take this oops this one and that one switch to move tool bring them up and uh, down <laughs> grab these two bring them up maybe a little bit outside because these really I don't know what happened with them I'm gonna grab the center one and I'm gonna grab these two here like so you wanna grab this corner ones and you wanna lift this up about that and then you're gonna do the same procedure over here so we're gonna grab this one at the, the end here and then grab this and that well something at the back there have been selected I think no it's not it's my mouse hovering skills so I'm gonna lift this up I'm gonna grab these okay and I'm gonna lift them up like so and I do want to get this okay by the way this is how I want this to be uh, maybe something here should be lifted up as well at the same time just to bring it there let's grab this one that that one and that one lift them up a little bit let's grab this thing that thing and that thing and bring it up so we're done with the mouth um, something is interrupting me um, I have a second thinking about this I'm gonna select this that and that one okay and I'm gonna bring them down like so yeah and maybe now I'm gonna select these make sure I'm not selecting anything behind so let's do control and select all this section that way I will be more confident and I'm gonna press well you see what I've done I brought them too much down so I need to 
I don't know, rooted them backwards in a way that it will. <coughs> Let me undo that first. Just wrong what I've done here, but what can I say? I had to do this. So let's do it that way, that way, that. that and that let's unselect anything here and move this down and that's it this is for the mouth now for the eyes I'm gonna grab these making sure I don't select anything else beside this I'm gonna bring this here I'm gonna lift these two up I'm gonna select these again always make sure you don't do any mistakes bring things in, into alignment move these three well you can select others but make sure that you unselect them later on and I'm gonna grab this that, 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 lift it up. I'm gonna grab this one, bring it up. I'm gonna bring this one down, this one down. Basically, all of them here down. And we are trying to create sort of a cat eyes or I don't know okay just in general okay uh, let's grab this one bring it like so I don't know it looks a little bit too big so I was afraid that this will happen but that's not too bad. It's okay. We can handle this. Yeah, that way. Okay. We'll do the same here. I'm going to use these as my guiding ones. This will be the center ones. This will be the upper ones. Let's unselect everything here <coughs> and lift those up. You can change the orientation, of course, if it doesn't fit your way of lifting them. Okay, this is also important, so make sure you do this if you need to. And this one, I'm gonna lift up here I'm gonna lift this one up and like so I'm gonna bring those like so this one down this one down let's see what will happen if I press 3 okay so we have this thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one which I think it's one of those that I need to at least pay more attention to it and maybe this one over here maybe these three also down so like that and I'm gonna pick keep it that way so now with that done you're gonna click extrude switch immediately to scale tool and open this uniformly like so make sure that the thickness that you add to it is acceptable like so something like that press F8 bring it back to object mode zoom in very much choose insert edge 
click here, click here, nice. Here you can tweak this, but that's not bad. While we're gonna smooth this, everything will smooth nicely. So we add these two, and on the mouth, we're gonna add two more. One here, oh, one here, and press F8 and bring it back to object mode. Three, and you will have this, okay? So as you can see, it's really nice. It's almost smiling to you. I'm gonna bring it back to non-smooth preview mode by pressing one, right click choose this, extrude this, tap on one of those cubes, extrude it that way, lift it up a little bit, just a little bit, and then extrude it once again, tap on one of those cubes, grab the middle one, and really start lift it up that way. So they can extrude it once more. Had a little bit more rotation, extrude it once again. You can add a little bit different rotation to it. I don't know. Extrude it one last time, tap on one of those cubes and create something like that. Press F8, bring it back to object mode, and here you go, we have our pumpkin. Now, I forgot to create a copy of this, okay, but really uh, make sure you before you start uh, creating that face, uh, you're gonna create a copy just to have another regular, um, you know, pumpkin. And also, mm, when you think of this, you may want to have different facial expression for each pumpkin. So you wanna have a different, uh, you know, starting point. I don't know. Anyway, that's nice. That looks good. And I'm going to continue at the next part where we will start and create the entire scene with the shaders and light settings and background. Okay, so I'm going to see you at the next part. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and see ya.